Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video, as you can tell from my apparel, this is a little leprechaun dabbing. I have my 1953 designs olive green headband on, my new favorite thing. It's going to be St. Patty's themed. It is March and the only good thing in March is St. Patty's Day really. And obviously this year there's not going to be any celebrations because of everything going on, at least not where I live. So yesterday I was just looking up some St. Patty's themed food to make or to buy from the grocery store and I saw on Audi's app that they had a lot of like themed food. So I jumped on that and I got some delivered to the house yesterday and I'm going to share that with you guys. Usually I do Trader Joe's grocery hauls but I haven't been to Trader Joe's since Christmas. It's killing me. I haven't been to Target since Christmas, which is like a really long time. I'm usually at Target every week. It's like I'm going through a breakup. I don't know what's happening. But I usually get seasonal themed food from Trader Joe's. I haven't been able to do that. So I decided to go to Audi. We go to Audi kind of a lot, kind of not really. We usually do our regular grocery shopping just at our local store because sometimes you can find better prices there than Audi. Sometimes what we're looking for we can't find at Audi. I know a lot of people have feelings about Audi. You either love it or hate it. There's like no in between. I don't mind it. It is crowded whenever we go, but so is Trader Joe's, so what can you do? So today I'm gonna share Audi St. Patrick's themed food. Yay, I'm pretty excited about it. Obviously it's Americanized, so not true Irish food, but I think it's fun and I think it's gonna make our at-home celebration a little more exciting. Usually we go, there's two restaurants that are Irish here where we live that we love. We might get takeaway from them, don't know, but if we can't, cause who knows what's gonna happen. One day it's a snowstorm here, the next day it's 60 degrees. Could be snowed in St. Patrick's Day, we don't know. So if we can't go get takeaway, we will make do with this food. But yeah, I was pretty excited when I saw it on the app and I wanted to share it with you guys. So let's get started. So here we are, not a lot of food, but a decent amount. Some pretty cool finds, let's dig in. So we got this Irish butter. We love Irish butter. We like this one, it's spreadable. Um, to put on toast. We make scones a lot, especially for St. Patty's Day, so this will come in handy. Next, we got some original Irish style bangers. Ooh, this is basically like sausage, if you guys don't know. We got four of this kind, and then I think two of the Allen onion flavored because we didn't know if we'd like it. So then to go along with our bangers, we got bacon. It's not Irish flavored or anything, but my sister lived in Ireland for a year and her favorite food to eat was bangers and rashers. That's what they call bacon. So we got that to go along with it if we want to make a little Irish breakfast. Then we got this big old package of sauerkraut. I don't really eat sauerkraut. That's more my dad's speed. My sister doesn't eat it either. But we're hoping to get corned beef to make corned beef sandwiches, um, corned beef in the crock pot, so that'll go along with it. Also, this isn't an Irish themed food. We usually make this for Christmas, but I've been craving it and ham, Irish enough, right? So I got crescent rolls and I take garlic and herb spread. This is cheese, garlic and herb spread cheese and I put it on the croissant rolls, then I put some spinach in it, and ham, and I call them pinwheels, ham, Irish enough, thought that would be a good little appetizer for St. Patty's. So next we have a very notable Irish food, probably one of the most notable, is shepherd's pie. We have this brand, which is Parkview, I believe they call it, and then Bramer. We only ordered this one, but they gave us this one by mistake. So thanks, Audi, shout out to you. I don't really know what the difference is. This one looks like it might be 
a little bit more creamy. I don't really know. We'll see when we make it. But this one is minced beef and vegetables in a tomato sauce topped with buttery mashed topping. And this one's the same. I think they have this one more frequently in the freezer section. I don't know. That's just a guess. I don't really know what the difference is. Maybe it's the box. This one has shamrocks. Who knows? So another very noticeable Irish food is fish and chips. We got Fremont Fish Market fish fillets so we can make our own and then we have french fries in the fridge to go along with it. I actually don't mind fish and chips so I'm kind of excited to try this. I know it's not like an Irish brand. This is pretty Americanized but pretty excited to try it. Then we have two dessert items. This one as you can tell, we already dug into it. Gonna have to get another one if we want it for St. Patty's Day. It is this Irish cream flavored cheesecake and it was so stinking good. It is very small. Like, I don't know, is that four or six inches? I don't really know. But it's really good. It tastes like Bailey's and chocolate cheesecake. It's delish, I love it, obsessed. Have to get another. And then this is very Americanized, the next dessert, but I'm pretty excited to make these. It is these Eat and Bake Lucky Charm Sugar Cookies. So again, very Americanized cereal, but I'm pretty excited. I think it'll taste good. It's just like marshmallow sugar cookies, so you can't go wrong with that. And the last thing we got, it is not Irish in any way, shape, or form. But I'm just so excited we found it. I had to share it. It is Gino's East of Chicago Deep Dish. Me and my family are obsessed with Chicago Deep Dish pizzas. We live in PA, so we don't get to eat them a lot. Sometimes we treat ourselves and get Luminati sent to us in the mail. But that can be very expensive. And I know this isn't like the legit Gino's that's in Chicago. But I'm really excited to try this. Hopefully I can get back to Chicago one day and try the real Chinos, but this will have to hold me over in the meantime. So I just thought I'd share that. Usually my family in the Midwest will see this like in Indiana at their grocery stores. So it was really cool that we saw it here in PA. So pretty pumped for that. Not Irish though, sadly. But yeah, that is our St. Patty's Audi grocery haul. They also had cupcakes, those sugar cookies with like the green frosting and clovers on them. Also had Reuben, like frozen individual Reubens that you put in the oven and made. And unfortunately they weren't available when I ordered. So hopefully I can go to this store and pick those up. Hopefully they're still in stock. Our seasonal stuff at Audi always sells out super fast, so fingers crossed I could get that and another cheesecake. I'll have to hide the cheesecake though because it's just so good. But yeah, that is how we'll be celebrating St. Patty's Day this year with our very Americanized Irish food, but I'm pretty pumped about it. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I always love to see a good grocery haul. Hope you guys do too. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys celebrate St. Patty's Day, what your favorite thing to eat is on St. Patty's Day. Always love some good recipes, some good holiday inspo, so let me know. Again, this food is very Americanized Irish food, but I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's going to help to make our St. Patty's Day celebration a little more special even though we're here at home. We're pretty excited about it. Howdy for the win. I think they have great seasonal items, some people might not, but really excited we were able to find this food. Hopefully it lasts till St. Patty's Day because that cheesecake sure didn't. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Please be sure to like, comment something positive, or your favorite St. Patty's Day food. Subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, thanks for watching.